Well, hello Aries. This is going to be your reading for mid-November, your love story reading. I hope you're doing amazing. If you're new, hello, my name is Amber. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading from me, I'll be more than happy to do one for you. Links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above, and we will be more than happy to schedule your appointment. Um... Yeah, if you want to get these readings super early, plus all the bonuses that I post here or on social media, um, Instagram and Facebook to be precise, there are new moon readings, full moon readings, planet, planetary transits, um, energy shifts that I feel. Um, also, uh, weekly readings on Sunday for the next week. Those are on... In, um, on social media so Instagram Facebook patreon links in the description box below please remember this is a general reading Aries if it doesn't fit don't make it you don't want those problems check your Sun Moon rising or Venus uh, links in the description box below if you don't know what those are for you so Aries let's talk about your energy the first part of your energy that I'm getting is crapshoot okay I feel like you're just taking a risk, jumping down a hole because you've just gotten yourself together. You know, it's like you made a decision to take a leap and whatever happens, happens. That's what I got from you, okay? So Aries, let's see. Yeah, Rose's Kiss, Beautiful Uncaging, and The Waking Lion. Ooh, I love that. Okay, Aries, so you're definitely waking up. I feel like you have hope for the future, and that's absolutely wonderful, you know? It's like all you're thinking about is your happiness. And you're like, you are you may hit some bumps and some, some jumps and some bumps along the way, but it's like, whatever. It's kind of like it's better than where I was. It's better than what I was in. So I feel like you're okay with that, but just know it's not going to be a walk in the park. But I feel like with the waking lion, you'll be okay to deal with it and get through it. Because you know new beginnings mean endings. And new beginnings mean, uh, you know, if ands, or buts. You don't know what's going to happen, okay? Um, I do feel like you are connecting with the universe in the way that you are opening up. You're opening up to the possibilities. You're opening up your heart to something new. You know... The thing about taking risks is you have to be ready to accept what the universe is going to give you. And I feel like you're getting there. I don't feel like you're there. I feel like you're you're getting there. It's a process, you know, but you're open to you're open to what's next. And when you find it, you're gonna be like, Okay, I got it, you know. So let's see what we have. Passion. Past life relationship, express your love, and separation. Okay. Some of you are leaving someone behind. That's you waking up, waking up to the truth of a situation that you were in, you know? It's kind of like seeing beyond your drive for someone or your feelings for someone and seeing what the truth really is, you know? It's like assessing something with facts is what I'm getting. And because of that, you're ready to take a risk for yourself. That's what I see. For some of you, I see them trying to be their best self now and say that they have changed or whatnot. But I just feel like you're looking at things a little bit differently, Aries. It's like, okay, we'll see. But I, but I don't feel you stopping doing what it is you're doing and taking the risks that you're taking. Because you, you feel a sense of freedom. So I feel like emotionally you're separated from this, even if you're still with a person. Some of you are just fully leaving. Or maybe going into separation. Who knows? But this is more of a mental understanding. So now it's like you're not fighting with it. You're just going with it. It's like making a decision to accept. Okay, Aries. We have the Queen of Wands, 
Justice, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Justice, Page of Wands, isn't that you? Yes, it is. Both of those cards are you all day. King of Cups, Star, King of Wands, Knight of Coins, and King of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords and the World card. Yeah, something is completely over for you. It's kind of like this phase of you trying, this phase of you working on things is over. It's over in the way that you're just, you've outgrown it. You know what I mean? Um, and the next step is to separate from this mentally, which I feel like you're in the process of doing if you haven't done that already. So Queen of Wands. Yeah. So what has happened and what brings you into this energy is you have gotten your passion back, your creativity, your self-confidence. You know, you feel like you're on your throne. And if you're on your throne and you see that your kingdom is falling apart or in ashes, you're going to do something about it. Because you want to be proud of what you have in your life and what you have maintained. And you're going to take action on that. And I feel like that's what that Queen of Wands is saying and that Queen of Wands is doing. You're all about balancing things out, you know. Um, I feel like you are taking action and putting your energy into the universe. Like, you are making things happen for yourself. Especially with the Page of Wands, this is something new. This is something out of whatever it is that you were doing. And you feel like it's only fair for you to do that. It can be a little bit scary. I feel like there's a little bit of hesitancy. Not in you, but in just like, oh my God, what's going to come next? Well, it's got to be better than this. Boop, 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 boop. You know, like, like that is what I'm feeling for you. Okay. So I feel like this is good for you because you're getting your emotions together. You're balancing out your emotions for another human being or for your love life in general. And you're just doing what's fair to you in the situation that you're in you know um i feel like spirit's here with you and is backing you up as long as you take the risks as long as you take the risks you'll be fine okay that's what i feel i don't really feel anything from the other person honestly this is more about you i feel like the fire signs are going to be like this because leo's reading was like this as well this is like between you and spirit with love, you know, like this is your love story. So you're standing up, you have some passion, you have some direction. I feel like the more risk you take and the better things turn out, the more you get steady on your path of what you want to do. I do feel like it is a slow process for you, Aries, like you're taking it one step at a time, but you're moving in a direction in a direction of stability with the king of cups it's like feeling magnanimous in your life and not feeling like someone else is taking control or you're dealing with someone else's emotions that are more important than yours and blah 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 that's what i feel like you're doing focusing more on yourself your home your stability things like that okay so we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like no matter how much you try in this situation to like um, heal your kingdom, um, your queendom, whatever, you could not figure it out. It's like there was a lack of order no matter where you turned. And it got to the point, it was just like, I'm going to walk away. I know I have built something here, but emotionally, I need to try to build something somewhere else. Because things are getting, I feel like things were stagnating. You know, like it just stagnated out of your life. It's not from lack of trying. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the Tower. Yeah, you did ignore this for a while, I will say. 
Okay, so I feel like you ignored making the move or trying to balance it out because you were like, love conquers all and I'm just going to keep trying or keep giving love or keep trying to help. Because for some of you, I feel like that's what you got used to doing. Um, trying to keep hope alive in this situation, but it wasn't getting you anywhere. It's like it just made you more and more frustrated, so you had to try a new direction. You had to, you know, it's like you got so frustrated that it turned into a passion to take that energy somewhere else. You know, and that energy helps you get out of a situation that isn't building right. You know, it's like you continue to try to work on this, but it's not working. So why continue to work on it? Okay, High Priestess, the Emperor in Reverse, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, you already knew what you wanted to do. I feel like you were just uh, kind of delaying it. You were delaying it. I feel like there was a moment where you were like, maybe it's me. So you tried to do things to like change yourself or make yourself better. But once you got your emotions together and realized what was important to you as an individual and that you were, you know, that you deserve more or need more, I feel like you connected with your divine feminine in a more healthy way, Leo. I mean, Aries, excuse me. And what I mean is your need to nurture, your need to care, your need to develop. You turned that around and was like, how much can I give to that if I'm not getting anything back? Nothing's happening, so I'm turning that into myself. So I feel like you stopped putting in that much effort and that much force to make that happen and decided to turn around or turn away, you know? It's kind of like now it's time to heal yourself because you did this emotional healing. You're hoping that this other person does it for themselves too, but, you know, that's not your concern anymore. Ten of Pentacles, Fool in Reverse, and the Queen of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, you're worried about your future, focused on your future. I don't know why I'm hearing paperwork. Um, but it's paperwork for the future. Maybe like a new apartment, a new bank account. I don't know, things like that. A new car for yourself. But you, you're taking the steps to get towards a goal of being an individual or doing things yourself, right? And you're not doing this because you hate another person. You're not doing this because you're angry. You're doing this positively because it's for yourself. You know, you see that someone else is only taking risk for themselves or doing things for themselves, your other person or whoever it is that you were dealing with. And you're like, I need to do the same thing because they're showing me, they're showing me, they're actively showing me what it is that I should be doing. And I feel like this is what made it easier for you in the first place, Aries. Three of Wands in Reverse. King of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands. So you're definitely leaving the chaos behind. I feel like it feels good. So I'm telling you, the more that you get into it, the more that you feel comfortable because you're leaving all the fighting and the cunning energy or I'm trying to get back at them, they're trying to get back at me. You're leaving all that behind because it's old and childish and it's not getting you anywhere. So you're redefining your future. You're actively redefining your future. And the more that you do that, the more that you feel empower, empowered. Because, you you know, you don't have all that negative energy to combat with. So you're feeling really good, focusing on your career, doing better. I feel like you're doing better in career because of this. Yeah, you're not sure what's going to come up. I feel like there is some trouble. And the reason why I feel like there is some trouble is because maybe you're doing things that you've never done before. So you have to figure things out. But I feel like as long as you keep your emotions balanced, you'll be fine. You have the knowledge. You have the know-how. You have the drive. I feel like you'll be fine. You know, it just feels like it's for the best of all. I'm going to be honest with you, Aries. 
Okay. So, let's get some of these chakra cards out for you. Well, that's yours. Well, yours is enlightenment. Beautiful. Speaking what is in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, out into the universe. And I feel like, you know, you're empowered and you're learning and... You're just seeing things the way that you need to see them and not in a way that you're trying to project them for yourself. Service. I feel like this is you being of service to the universe. Also redefining your service to the people around you or the person that you were with. It's kind of like you were giving so much that you were forgetting about yourself. You were getting lost in working on something that wasn't working on you. And we have recovery. You're finding the key to what the problem was it's very interesting because what the they're, they're pointing out the high priestess to me and it's like a secret that you knew but you didn't really take control of it you were just trying to find everything else around the issue instead of dealing with what the issue was and now that you have interacted with the real issue now you can start to fix it bottom of the deck we have prayer this is telling me that things are not going to be easy and that's why i said i pointed out the thorns on the flower and that's because it's new energy it's a new situation you know you're gonna hit snags and that's why i was saying i feel like paperwork is hard or this is some new thing that you have never done before so it can be a little bit challenging but i feel like you have the passion and the drive and the know-how or to learn, you know, the confidence to get through it. So you'll be fine. So let's see what Alice says, Aries. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Look at the, this deck. Let me tell you. It has not been wrong. Um, so yeah. <laughs> see the beauty in your individuality. Who you are. And what it is that you truly deserve. I feel like I need to say that you've spent a lot of time working on other people's issues, other people's problems, and trying to make somebody else happy. And now it's time for you to paint your own picture, to write your own story. And I feel like that's what's happening. That part of you is awakening, you know, your individuality, who you are, who you were meant to be. So that feels phenomenal, Aries. So thank you for being here. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.